Most human beings are half steps because the fear of suffering. If you try to control the variety of situations that may pop up in your face tomorrow morning, all that will happen is you will become a very limited life. You would step out into the world and do whatever that needs to be done, only if you have an assurance, no matter what you walk into, you will not lose yourself. You will walk full stride, otherwise you'll only be a half a step. Most human beings are half steps because the fear of suffering, if this happens, what will happen to me? If that happens, what will happen to me? If you're well managed within yourself, you know how to manage your thought, you know how to manage your emotion, you know how to manage your body, your chemistry, your energy. If you know how to manage all this, what does it matter if you walk into hell, I'm asking? If you are well managed, if you are a heaven within you, what does it matter where you go? Hell also will be an interesting place to go. But if you are ill managed, then you want to be in a nice place all the time. You will not step out into anything. I'm not saying this is wrong, this is against nature because in nature, every life is aspiring to be as much as it can be, isn't it? Every life is naturally aspiring, this is not a philosophy, this is not an ideology that you must do this or that. It is natural and intrinsic for every life that it will do as much as it can. From an earthworm, from a worm to an insect to a bird to an animal to a tree, every one of them are trying to be full-fledged life. If you go against this, simply because of the fear of suffering, then all possibilities of exploring the nature of being human, the tremendous immensity of being human is just lost upon humanity. Today, you will see this everywhere when people say, I am only human, they are talking about the limitations of being human. They are not talking about the possibilities of being human, isn't it? When… if we are the most intelligent species on the planet, if we are the most capable species on the planet, should we be talking about our possibilities or should we be talking about our limitations? Whenever anybody writes or says, oh, we are human, they are always referring to their limitations, never to the possibilities of being human. This is because the… the most fundamental things have not been taught in our education systems, how to handle your thought and your emotion. Your psychological drama has gone out of control. <laughs> it's a badly directed drama, believe me. If it was a well-directed drama, you would take it to the conclusion that you want, isn't it? Because it's a badly directed drama, just about anybody can take charge of it. Who is the director of your psychological drama? Just about anybody, isn't it? Anybody can make it into a tragedy <laughs> The reason why people have not even learned to manage their thought and emotion, by the time you're ten, you should have learnt it. At sixty, people still don't know how to manage their thought and emotion. They're standing up like ghosts in their life. They don't need anybody's help. They can go on endlessly creating suffering for themselves. Now, suppose you did not know how… you have normal hands and you do not know how to use it. What would you call yourself? No, you… you tell yourself, don't tell me, it's okay. Whatever you think, if you have a normal process of mental faculty and you do not know how to use it, it means the same thing, yes or no? Does it mean the same thing or no? You don't have a normal hand, then you can't use it, that's different. We will look at you compassionately. But you have a normal hand and you don't know how to use it. Whatever word you use to call yourself, don't tell me. But the same thing goes if you don't know how to use your thought and emotion towards your well-being, isn't it? Because ill-managed, because the fundamentals of life are not grasped. What is the nature of my existence? If you don't know this, how do you manage it? Only if you grasp the nature of something, then you learn to manage it, isn't it? 
you don't even see what it is, how to manage it? There is no way to manage it. So the first and foremost thing, that's why, is called realization. You must understand this. In this country, in this culture, we never refer to any kind of spiritual realization as an attainment. We only said it is a realization. Realization means you simply saw what is already there. You did not invent anything. You did not climb the top of a mountain. You are beginning to see everything just the way it is. But that has become such a rarity <laughs> that it is being hugely valued. Someone was asking me three days ago, I was in Kerala, Sadhguru, you seem to know everything. I said, see, there is only one thing I know. I know this one thing from its origin to its ultimate. I said, I know only one thing and what are you clapping your hands for? <laughs> I know only this one thing. But because the nature of human experience is such, you know everything only through this one, isn't it? 